Hey guys, we are on a break because Daniel needs to do a drop off. Yes, we're doing Daniel's errands mm -hmm. while we're working. Benefits me none, it benefits him most. Uh, it's been an okay thrifting, nothing like too crazy. Daniel's got a lot of shit. I don't. I got a Max Mara Weekend by Max Mara puffer in an XL, an E Saint Laurent trench in an XL, a coach wallet, Michael Kors wallet and an Apple keyboard. So I'll show you guys in the hall before the end of the video. And it's Miss Philly, welcome back to the channel. We went thrifting today, of course. We thrift every day, Monday to Friday for the most part, because that is our job, that's how we make a living, that is our life. Today is my aunt's birthday, and I was planning on getting her some Filipino food, dropping it off, at her place but um she said no <laughs> my aunt is like a severe introvert she like literally doesn't like people she doesn't like to do anything for the most part um so understandable she's like just come for christmas we're like okay uh and it's loki's birthday today so loki i just got him a few things <laughs> from the dollar store i feel like getting him expensive toys he doesn't give a fuck about labels obviously he's a freaking dog but i just bought him a few things i want i got him some balloons so that he can play with them And then I got him a new toy. This is actually the good, uh, it's a Dollarama toy, but it's a good quality toy. He has the pink version and he loves it. So I thought I'd get him the brown version uh, of a toy that he loves. I got him that and I just got him a little bone. Um, I didn't have time to go do the, the expensive, healthy uh, dog treat place. So I just thought I'd get him this and the ingredients aren't too, too bad. Wheat flour, rice flour, tapioca flour, sugar, chicken flavor, glycerin, water, soybean meal, potassium, sorbate, caramel color. So, I mean, it's not the healthiest, but I'll just, you know, it's something for him to chew on today. And then tomorrow, hopefully I can go to the expensive treat store and get him some healthy treats. Okay, so the stuff that we thrifted today. Um, <sighs> Okay, we thrifted two things today. I don't know if I want to show you in the car because really there's no point, but it's here. But I'll insert like what it looks like full because you're not going to get a full view of what it actually looks like. So we picked up a Yves Saint Laurent menswear trench coat. It fit Daniel, so it's probably an, for a woman like an oversized extra large or maybe even like a 1XL. Um, it'll be work better if you're taller as well because uh, for Daniel, I believe it hit past his calf or at his calf and daniel's short though daniel's like five foot nine and when we got that you see that was expensive it was fifty dollars um so from yesterday's video if you did not know which item i thrifted was fake it was the north face yep that six hundred dollar jacket fake as fuck so thank you to my friend emilio he lives in colorado he told me he's like a big freaking um he's a big freaking patagonia arcteryx uh, North Face, like he's a big collector of that, those brands. So thank you, Emilio. Appreciate it. And it was expensive. It was $40. So the Yves Saint Laurent was $50. We used a $2 off because we had something to exchange the North Face. So we, we paid pretty much full price for it. We paid $50 for it. And then we picked up the Max Mara uh, Parka. The hood on that Max Mara is insane. It feels like Canada goose fur. It's down filled, very luxe, uh, made in China, which means it's probably newer because I believe the weekend Max Mara coats are the newer ones are made in China. Obviously, her high end brand, just Max Mara is made in Italy, but I couldn't let it go. 
I could not not buy it for $11 minus a $2 off coupon. So like $9. The zipper is broken. So it came with a belt and it came with a removable hood. So those two pieces alone are worth the $9. But I feel like it's worth investing fixing the zipper pull on it because it's an expensive jacket and it's a great size. I think it's an XL. And it's just such a really nice jacket for a weekend by Max Mara. I believe it retails for probably, I'm thinking 800. I'm not 100% sure. Some of her jackets go for 500. Some go for 1,000, depending. But my inclination is that it's 1,000, 800 maybe, 800 to 1,000 because of the real fur, the down fill. And it's very luxe. And it's a parka. So it's right here. <laughs> Both jackets are right here. So we ended up picking it up. I don't know where we're going to fix the zipper, but we need to get it fixed because um, otherwise it's not really sellable. I mean, it's still wearable because you can button it up, so it's still technically wearable. Okay, so the other things that we picked up were these Bath & Body Works candles. They were um, $5 and $4, and we used a $2 off coupon. It's been lit, but it's still pretty much full. This one's pink pineapple. I think I've had this one before. I love it. Never had this one before, but it's hot chocolate. And this one smells good too. And it's that much full for $4. They had a bunch of other uh, Bath and Body Works candles, but they were brand new and they wanted $15 for it. Ain't paying that. Nuh -uh, not happening. This, I was a little bit shocked because it's a wireless Apple keyboard. Uh, Bluetooth and normally they would price this at $19.99, $24.99, which is still a good deal. But the fact that it was nine bucks, you can't beat that. I'll flip this easily for $40 to $50. I actually didn't check if there's battery erosion. Battery erosion. I don't know. Erosion sounds kind of like a sexual thing. You want to get eroded? Yeah, I want to get eroded. Erode me. Erode me now. Okay. La la la. Okay, no, no erosion. Crisis averted. Super good deal on this. Love it. Um, and the only other things that we got were. Okay. <laughs> this super cute op art slash poppy or is it just poppy i feel like this is the op art but then it's poppy uh four dollars and 79 cents for that small little wallet you have a front zip compartment for easy access to a card and then you have the main compartment you have card slots there and a zip compartment here and yeah this one's really good i like this a lot and you have the wristlet strap and yeah oh there's a card slot in the back so very multifunctional very small and compact and then we picked up these gloves i know they just look basic as heck but they're also cheap as heck two dollars now why would i pick up some basic ass acrylic gloves well biatch they're not acrylic they're freaking vintage. They are, um, okay, they're 70% wool, 20% angora, 20% rabbit hair, and 10% uh, nylon. Now, usually uh, fabrics add nylon, like say natural fiber, natural fibers like wool, fur, they tend to add nylon to um, add durability to it so it doesn't get all pilly it doesn't like wear as quick i think anyway at least in my mind i think that's why they do it i really actually don't know <laughs> um and the under layer is to give it a grip when you grip things like you know grip things uh, is pigskin so very nice very uh pff, hello <laughs> they're very nice gloves and they fit and they fit a larger hand so that's nice and then the last thing that we got guys was this michael kors wallet Really good price for it as well, $11.29. It is missing the wristlet strap, but that's fine. There is some significant tarnishing on the zipper pull. Again, not a problem. Uh, the 
structure of the wallet, the canvas, the Safiano leather, there's no cracking or anything of that nature. So it makes it a lot, uh, a lot more desirable in that sense. I don't know if you could fit an iPhone in here, like a newer one. I know you can't fit a Max for sure, but maybe like the Pro, just the regular Pro. When I get these wallets, I tend to look at like the corners, like here, there, to see if there's any cracking because Safiano leather like that is prone to cracking, unfortunately. And then you have all these card slots, an ID holder, coin holder here, bills there, another, and then here. You don't have to put your phone here. You could utilize this for like receipts or your bills. So yes, that's all that we got guys thrifting today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I have a favor to ask you guys. I have a huge favor. If you can take the time out of your day to go visit my Facebook page and like and comment some of the reels. It doesn't have to be like all of them. I mean, I posted about 150 reels, but when, if you can you know, take two minutes out of, your, out of your day to follow me as well, because I upload a lot of things that you don't see um, on Facebook Reels along with my TikTok. So, but Facebook Reels is what we're focusing on right now because I'm trying to reach my goal of, okay, if I make $800 on Facebook Reels through people viewing, liking, and commenting on my Reels, Facebook is going to give me an extra $600 and that's in US dollars guys. And that's unheard of. I've never heard of anything like, like that before. So, and I'm so close. I'm almost at $600. And so I really have to make about $240 more. And I'm really on a time crunch because I'm only, I only have six more days left. It ends on December 4th and it's the 29th today. So I have the 29th, 30th, one, two, three, and four. And then after that's done and you know i'm so close i can reach it i can taste it so i'm asking for your help if you will help your miss philly i would really really appreciate it uh the link to my facebook uh page will be the first link on the down bar and uh, so it'll be easily access accessible for you guys i would really appreciate the if you guys would go over there and you know not only view the reels but comment and like them again i will be so grateful i would appreciate it Anyway, guys, that's it for the video. Again, we're going to check in with you tomorrow because we're going thrifting again tomorrow. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, it's Loki's birthday too, so I love him so much. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Don't forget to remain positive, productive, and progressive. Keep manifesting those dreams because they will come true. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. I'm just going to head over to Starbucks and get him a pup cup.